Hello community! Today we talk about the unsolved puzzle of the secret version of code Llama. Now, you know, I am not that intelligent, but my subscribers are brilliant geniuses. So when they notice that GPT-4 outperforms the everything of the code Llama models, they noticed that not in the official publication by Meta, but in the research paper, there was a specific mysterious model called Unnatural Code Llama, a 34 billion free trainable parameter model that achieved 62%, very close to GPT-4 67% performance. And they said, what, what is this model? And why was it not released by Meta or Facebook? And you know, if you remember back in 2022, we had this publication by Meta AI and Tel Aviv University, and they uncovered here the unnatural instruction, where they have LLMs and they can have a data set with no human labor. And they were so proud that they said, hey, we collect 64,000 examples by prompting a large language model. And they get a data set that outperforms a lot of manually data sets. And they said here in the conclusion, hey, we introduce here the unnatural instruction, an automatically generated data set by a prompt, prompting a superior large language model. We would call it today a synthetic data set that is generated by a superior LLM. This is very cost effective. We have no problems with crowd workers or human interference. If we have one superior LLM, from this model we can generate synthetic sub data sets that we can use then to further train our specific LLMs. And so in 2022, they used GPT-3, and now in 2023, we don't know which LLM, which superior LLM they used. It remains a secret. And then today I read this article by AIM. And in the title, they had this unnaturally that caught my attention. By this order, today, August 25th, 2023. And they mention there is a high possibility that the unnatural model, and they are talking here about Meta's code Llama model, that this would be trained on GPT, and now hold on, GPT-4. Or more specifically, by OpenAI Codex through the GitHub Copilot. Now, this is a very interesting correlation because they say, hey, this would get Meta into legal troubles with OpenAI. And they say, Meta could avoid this if they would just use you the Llama 2 output for their training purposes. But yeah, maybe Llama 2 is not that advanced. And they noticed something that made me think. So this partnership of Meta and Microsoft is definitely going to help them in the future. And I said, what a brilliant idea. Now let us imagine here a management board meeting of OpenAI, this small little startup that gave us GPT-4. We have a dominant influence by another company, Microsoft, who owns 49% of OpenAI. And Microsoft invested 13 plus billion dollars in OpenAI. And OpenAI provided here the new LLM to Microsoft in response. Now, the new partnership between Meta and Microsoft is not just a partnership, but since Meta is running a lot of its models on the Microsoft infrastructure, I can imagine that Meta is an excellent customer for Microsoft. Now, let's say that OpenAI would notice that this secret model that has been trained in 2022 on some models by OpenAI and maybe in 2023, Meta did not forget this small little company. They say, hmm, the board meeting, 
This is an interesting situation because Meta is releasing here to be the good guy, the good guy image in the open source community. This code LLM, this code Llama 2 mile with a free commercial license, but we have to we have to make business, no? So imagine theoretically only that they would use here, Meta would use a technology by OpenAI. This is an interesting question. Would OpenAI dare to do something? Well, let's face it another way. In the Open Management Board meeting, OpenAI would say, you know, we should discuss that we confront Meta with a theoretical license problem regarding our GPT-4 product. And Microsoft, who sits on this board of management because they own almost half of the company, would say, hey, wait a minute. Y you want to touch my most precious client? My beautiful little Meta? Uh, slow down, buddy, slow down. So this constellation here, this part of ownership and investment, makes it now very interesting for an intellectual property lawyer. But I guess they found a solution. Because if, yeah, by the way, <laughs> Microsoft has another topic, yeah? Because Microsoft owns GitHub. And GitHub has a new product, the Copilot where you pay as an individual $100 per year, where if you're an enterprise, you pay $19 per month for each of your employees. OpenAI provides here the technology for the co-pilot for GitHub, and Microsoft owns GitHub. So this is a source of revenue for Microsoft that OpenAI continues to deliver the technology. So... A beautiful constellation here for game theory, what you're going to do, but the solution is quite easy. This very specific, excellent performing code, Llama, Unreal, has not been published by Meta, by Facebook. This is the official documentation by Meta, what has been published, and you see here, code Llama. 34B, no, unreal model. It would have come close, as I told you here, to GPT-4, because it, it theoretically, if we follow some publication by AIM, could have been trained on a synthetic data set that was generated by GPT-4. Then we would understand why this code Lama unreal comes with 62% close to the 67% of GPT-4, according to Meta. But given the really interesting constellation of intellectual property rights on off dependencies of companies, I think this was the easiest solution. So there you have it. Sometimes some models are not published for a reason. And although we do not get an official statement by the companies, Sometimes, and with a little bit of pure speculation, we could imagine one possible theoretical scenario interesting for us when we try to understand what's going on. If we have even such a small little code llama model with 34 billion, we can jump from 41 to 62 only, and I really I mean only with an excellent high quality, high performance, fine tuning data set. So we see, yeah, the pre-training is important, but if you really have a high quality data set, fine tuning can make all the difference. Well, here we go. This is the insight that I personally take out of this story. Thank you for my subscriber who noticed me of this secret Llama code model that was not in the official press release by Facebook, by Meta, but interestingly was published for the scientific community in the research paper. This is it for today. I hope it was a little bit informative for you, and it would be great to see you in my next video.